In this video, we will be talking about typical polygel sculpting mistakes. Coming up! Hello, I'm Anastasia. I noticed that you guys really enjoy my mistakes videos. I already have one about gel and acrylic, and this time I decided to share the video with polygel mistakes. First one is using too much liquid. As you probably know, together with the polygel, most brands they have the special liquid, which you need to use, so the brush will not stick too much. And some nail technicians just use way too much liquid, because sometimes it seems the more liquid you will use, the easier it will be to smooth out the surface, which is kind of true, but if you will just take too much liquid, what will happen, it will liquefy the product and it may flood under the cuticle, near the sidewalls, and also if you will add the product on top, some of the liquid might remain underneath and will not be able to evaporate, so it will be basically locked inside the product, so the structure of the nail will be changed. So use liquid as long as you feel that the brush is sticking, but do not take too much, and if you see that the nail is wet, wait until the liquid totally evaporates and cure only after that. Second mistake is using certain types of base coats. Some polygels require using base coat, some of them don't, and I personally sometimes I use it, sometimes I do not use it, it depends on the client, on the nails. So when you apply base coat, then you cure it, and then you can apply polygel. So the thing is that some base coat have too much of the sticky layer, so the surface is so slippery, it's just not comfortable to apply the polygel. If you have a base coat like this, it doesn't mean that it's bad or good. It only means that it is better to remove the sticky layer and to apply the product only after that. Because when the surface is so sticky and slippery, it just might not be comfortable for you to do the good cuticle work. And sometimes what will happen, that this layer will be mixed with polygel and the product will slightly slide under the cuticle or under the sidewalls. Next mistake is applying the product too thick near the cuticle or along the sidewalls. Sometimes you just do not notice it as you try to cover uh, the nails, as you smooth out the surface, and then you do not notice that some parts of the product already fell on the sides or too close to the cuticle. And you will notice it only after a few weeks as the nail will grow off and you will see that it was not as thin as you thought, and also the product started lifting. So I recommend to always check these areas. Near the cuticle, along the sidewalls should be always thin. Mistake number four is applying product too close to the sidewalls. Now this is a very common mistake, and it's pretty hard to identify it, even by looking at the close-up pictures. Even in reality, sometimes I see nails, they look good, but actually the product is too close to the skin. It may be super thin, but if it touches even just slightly the sidewall, after a few days it will start lifting. So what you need to do when you apply the product, always make sure there is a tiny margin along the cuticle, along the sidewalls, between the product and the skin. We cannot apply it on the skin or even let it touch the skin. So always leave this tiny margin. As you will grow as a professional, you will be able to create this margin like hair thin. But if you're just getting started, it's fine if you leave this margin a little bit more, but at least the product will not lift. Some colors are very intense, such as white or bright white. They have too much pigment in them, so you can never apply them too thick. I've seen Nail technicians sometimes take white product and apply a very thick layer just trying to do pink and white or baby boomer for one take. So what will happen is that when the layer is super thick, the light, LED light, cannot go fully through this product and it will stay soft in the middle. So the nail will be soft, it will not be strong enough and it can easily break. So if you want to do, let's say, long nails with a white free edge, what I would recommend to do is to split it into two or even three steps, or you can also use clear first, build a clear foundation, and then apply white on top. 
but do not ever apply white too thick as it will not simply fully cure. And it is the same for some color polygels such as black, intense red and so on. Be careful with the pinching. I always pinch the nails because I like this look with the curve and the nails look more elegant and narrow and also it actually helps to make them stronger. But with some products it might be challenging. So if you started pinching nail and then you notice this white spot in the middle, you're doing something wrong and most likely it's just too late to pinch. Some polygels are actually almost impossible to pinch while with some of them it's pretty easy, such as IBD control gel. So what I recommend you to do is you need to find this perfect time. For most modern products it's between 5 to 15 seconds in LED lamp. So I apply a thin layer of the product on the nail, freeze cure it for 15 seconds and then you can slightly pinch it and cure for the remaining 1 minute. And then you repeat it on the second layer. Sometimes, if you apply the product too thick, it will not be possible to pinch it even after 5 seconds. This is how the products work. So, whether you want to divide the process into two steps or find the product that is pretty easy to pinch. This mistake is so common when nail technicians are using UV or LED lamp that is not compatible or simply not powerful enough for this particular product. You may heard of like this lamp is not working with our product and it's true because manufacturers usually create products that are compatible with their lamps. For example, gelish polygel will not fully cure in a 18 watt LED lamp. I tried it and it didn't really work. I mean it looked like it cured but as you start filing you will see that it's still soft in the middle. But once I took 36 watt it was powerful enough. So you need to check whether the brand you're working with is compatible with the lamp and also if you're using UV or hybrid lamp, make sure that you change the bulbs and they're still emitting enough energy. This mistake is pretty common with hard gel and with poly gel as well when you apply not enough thickness in the middle. We all want to get natural looking, thin, beautiful, elegant nails and it's actually pretty easy to reach, but you need to make them thin only on the free edge, not in the middle where we need all the thickness and the strength. So when you apply the product in the center where the apex is, it should be actually pretty thick. When it will be thin and the nails are short, sometimes nothing may happen, but with some clients, I assure you what will happen, they will have these cracks on the sides and then the nail will break. So make sure you have enough thickness of the product in the apex area. Some nail technicians believe that as you apply more product on the free edge, the thicker nail will be, the stronger they will be and more resistible to any breaks, which is not actually true. It was something that nail technicians considered many, many years ago, but what happens if we apply too much product on the free edge? It will be just too heavy. And as the nail will grow off, it will push the natural nail plate and may easily damage it. And also these nails are pretty easy to break. So if you want to have a really strong nails, you need to apply more product on the apex area. You need to create a curve and the proper structure. But on the free edge, nails should not be too thick. The last but not least is using some other liquid instead of the special polygel liquid. I noticed that some nail technicians are really looking on how they can save uh, some money, so they're using, let's say, polish remover instead of the special liquid. And sometimes they contain such ingredients as oils, which are the opposite of adhesion. So oils are designed to make our skin soft, but they will not help with the adhesion of the product and the natural nail plate. So by using this uh, product, you will do the opposite and the nails might not last. So make sure you're using the special liquid or at least alcohol. These were the most common mistakes that nail technicians do when working with polygel. Now let me know which of these mistakes have you ever made or maybe still doing. 
I skipped some of those such as the last one and the one with the base code because I read the instructions carefully but I definitely did this mistake with using too much liquid and I definitely tried to cure white when applied it very thick. I was just really wondering how it works which is fine because when we're learning we're experimenting but keep in mind that if you will know what your mistake is you will not repeat it again and again and every time your nails will be so much better. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new videos just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Bye!